Guess what I got asked? Yep, the classic what's the deal with this idiom? Salt of the earth. I will explain it, and you've got it covered today. Let me start by telling you a story. Imagine you're at a fancy restaurant. And the waiter asks if you want salt with your meal. You say yes, and the waiter brings you a bag of dirt. That's the literal meaning of the idiom. But it actually means someone who is humble, down-to-earth, and reliable. Salt of the earth means a person who is honest, sincere, and dependable. They are the type of person you can always count on. And they don't have any pretensions or airs about them. One way to remember the meaning of the idiom is to think of salt as a seasoning that enhances the flavor of food. In the same way, a salt of the earth person enhances the lives of those around them. Let me give you an example. Jane is a salt of the earth person. She always helps her neighbors, volunteers at the local food bank, and never asks for anything in return. She's the kind of person you can always count on. Here are fun facts about the idiom. One, the phrase is from the Bible. Two, it's been used since the 1300s. Three, it's often used to describe working class people. Four, it's similar to the phrase down to earth. Five, it's the title of a Rolling Stones song. Six, it's used in the movie It's a Wonderful Life. Seven, it's used in the TV show Breaking Bad. Eight, it's used in the book To Kill a Mockingbird. Nine, it's used in the song Salt of the Earth by the band Crowded House. Ten, it's a compliment. Here are five example sentences. 1. John is a salt of the earth person. He always helps his neighbors. 2. Mary is the salt of the earth. She's always there when you need her. 3. Bob is a salt of the earth kind of guy. He's honest and dependable. 4. The salt of the earth people are the ones who make the world a better place. 5. We need more salt of the earth people in our lives. Sentence, Jane is the salt of the earth. Rephrased, Jane is a dependable and honest person. Jane is someone you can always count on. Let me tell you a real life story. My neighbor, Mr. Johnson, is a salt of the earth person. He always helps his neighbors and he's always there when you need him. One day, I was having car trouble and he came over and fixed it for me. He didn't ask for anything in return. He's the kind of person who makes the world a better place. Here are some similar expressions. 1. Down to earth. 2. Honest. 3. Reliable. 4. Trustworthy. 5. Good hearted. And here are some opposite expressions. 1. Pretentious. 2. Arrogant. 3. Egotistical. 4. Self-centered. 5. Narcissistic. Here's a related idiom. Worth one salt. It means someone who is worth their pay or is good at their job. Let me tell you a story using this idiom. John is a chef and he's worth his salt. He always makes delicious food, and his customers love him. Now it's time for a quiz. Which of the following is the correct definition of salt of the earth? A. Someone who is arrogant. B. Someone who is humble and dependable. C. Someone who is pretentious. The correct answer is B. A salt of the earth person is someone who is humble and dependable. So, to summarize, salt of the earth means someone who is humble, down to earth, and reliable. It's a compliment and has been used since the 1300s. Remember, a salt of the earth person enhances the lives of those around them.